I'm at the Swine Center at UC Davis, where workers constantly handle with pigs. Recently, there has been talk about an outbreak of the common bacteria Salmonella. Today, I'm going to talk with Ken Parker to find out what's going on. We had a problem. We had two pigs that became ill with diarrhea. Anytime we're uncertain, we send it into the laboratory to be tested. But on a precautionary note, especially if we're having large groups of students come through, we presume it to be uh, salmonella or something like salmonella. So we go ahead and uh, use our heightened biosecurity protocol, which tells us to boot and maintain uh, limited access to those areas and those actual pigs that, that were sick. We're lucky to find out, it almost always happens a little bit too late, but after about two weeks the test results come back in. The two pigs in question did not have salmonella, but we always try to err on the side of caution. In this case we didn't have a salmonella outbreak, but we, we have indeed know that salmonella has been in the herd before. In its, the seven years that we've been here, we've had one other uh, time with it. Also, almost all wild animals and other environmental reasons bring salmonella in, so the potential is always there. In most cases, it's a stress uh, situation, generally environmental, that causes a potential outbreak. In this case, it was the fact that in uh, early and mid-October, we had some very warm days and cold nights, and that tends to put environmental stress on the pigs and can cause the diarrheas, in this case, which was Lasonia, which is kind of a, mo uh, uh, we'll say, modest, pig only disease, but it could be, and it looks very similar, you can't tell until you have laboratory confirmation whether it was salmonella or not. If everybody followed every precaution all the time, we would be close to 100% safe, and that is the fact that it is an oral fecal co contamination. So even if we have the presence of salmonella, if everybody observes 100% our biosecurity protocol as far as wearing the boots, limiting the access, always washing your hands, then the chances of actually getting it from the pigs is, is, is quite low. It's almost impossible to totally get rid of it. It's something like the common cold. Uh, in other words, it's impossible to eliminate from the environment, but if we do everything exactly best, we can minimize the chances of an outbreak. It shows the system works. We've, we found a potential problem, we looked at all the alternatives, we put our biosecurity issues in place as far as notifying everybody that we can of the potential hazards, using our enhanced uh, boot protocol and minimizing the exposure to the areas. And so I think that it, it worked even though we didn't have a problem, I think it's, it, you just have to be ever vigilant just in case you do have a problem. As you can see, salmonella is not just limited to farmers and butchers, but can happen in a research center as well. Salmonella is a very common form of food poisoning and can grow on just about any type of food. Therefore, safety and handling with animals in any environment should be taken seriously. I'm Cheryl Tom with AGTV.